Hey, all you creative writing friends, what's going on? Welcome to your first week of creative writing online. What, what? Hope you're excited. Um, I'm excited. So, you know, there it is. Uh, I trust you're doing well. Um, hey, we're going to do something fun. We're going to ease into it. So uh, hopefully y'all have been writing. I don't know. Um, but we're going to do like two little activities so, uh, this week. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to share my screen here so you can see. Um, all right, let's pop over. Okay. Um, hey, there we go. It's, that's me. That's the Kraken. Uh, yeah, lovely. All right. Um, exquisite Corpse. Have you heard of this before? Uh, maybe you've done this before, like in your elementary school art class. This is the Exquisite Corpse. Right, you take a uh, piece of paper, fold it into thirds or fourths, whatever, right? Yeah, you get the picture. I think this is probably, you're starting to remember this. We're not actually gonna do the drawing piece. This is just what exquisite corpse is. All right. First person draws the head, right? All right, yeah. Yeah, we get it, we get it. Right, then they leave some dots or some lines here. Next person comes along, all they can see is the little lines. They write the body, add to it. All right. It's an interesting body there. See, they leave a couple lines here for the next person. Fold it, last person, draws the legs. And now we have an interesting creature, blind creature. All right, so there it is, finished drawing. It's kind of fun. There you go. So that's an exquisite, uh, exquisite corpse it actually was invent kind of it was like an old parlor game and it was like um uh some of the surrealists became popular around the surrealists i don't know if you're familiar with the surrealists but they um uh, were in like the 20s and they were artists and they would get together and so here this is a famous one here um Tangue, miro maurice and man ray did right they folded it into four parts somebody wrote, drew the head passed it on and they connected the lines and you kind of get these interesting, but I wanted to show you this because, you know, feel free to um, dig around if you want to learn more about exquisite corpses. It's kind of a fun game. Um, but there was a, there was a passage in here, right? Um, the technique got its name from uh, results obtained in initial playing. Uh, um, some ex examples, right? Um, these poetic fragments were felt to reveal that Nicholas Colas characterized, what Nicholas Colas characterized as the unconscious reality in the personality of the group, resulting from a process of what Ernst called mental contagion. Isn't that good? Mental contagion. Um, you know, the, and I thought it was fitting, you know, this whole idea that here we are, um, you know, this virus and um, there's this contagion out there. And, and the idea of the exquisite corpse is that collectively as a group, we all kind of create, you know, this idea, this, um, this whole, this picture with all of our each, you know, contributions, our mental contagion. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do an exquisite corpse. And so uh, there is a program, an online program, it's called foldingstory.com. So here's your task. I want you to go to foldingstory.com and create account. There's, you can create a free account. And once you go in there, um, to this is what it is. And basically what it is, is you get to read the a line of a story and you add to it. And then the next person only reads the previous line and then they add to it. The next person adds to the previous line. And by the end, you have a complete story. Um, oftentimes it's nonsensical, but I thought it would be interesting to see our class's mental contagion. So I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to try it and see. So if you get onto foldingstory.com, set up a free account, then when you do across the top, you're going to see home search, 
uh, and then your username, whatever your username is. Mine is Kraken, right? Get it? Kraken. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, Kraken with two ends. And so if you click on yours, it'll be whatever your username is. And down here, you can find people to follow. You can find people to follow. Yours will probably be blank because you don't have any. But if you go into following, right, you follow zero people. Just click find more. And then search for me. Search for Kraken. Kraken, excuse me. Kraken. It's Kraken, right? Um, right? I know. I hear you, Ethan. Stop it. Uh, you too, Casey. Uh, or Aiden, uh, whoever the biggest offender is. It's, it's Kraken. You're going to search for it. Uh, you could also search for my email address, I suppose, uh, at WLWV. It's probably good to know your teacher's email addresses. Um, but if you search for it, or if you just search for Kraken, um, I should pop up. And then once you click on me, uh, you can follow me. And you'll see when you follow me, you'll pull up my story. You'll see I started um, a story here. Uh, I'm, ooh, I shouldn't stay too long on that because... Um, the whole point is for you to go and find it, right? Um, so go to go to following, follow Kraken, and then um, go ahead and click on my folding story, uh, my folding story there, and add to it. Uh, go ahead and, and write to it, add a sentence, uh, and then the next person who logs on will see um, the most recent sentence. And uh, follow me, go ahead and follow me. Uh, so I suppose that you can see the other people in class that are following me and you could follow them. Um, so I think that would be, that would be cool. And then get into Google Classroom and uh, go ahead and just submit your username, your folding story username. And that's how we'll kind of know that you did it or that you're on there and I can kind of check it. And then once it's all done, I'll, I'll share our mental contagion, our exquisite corpse. All right. Well, hope you all are doing well. Have fun with that. Feel free to poke around and, um, uh, uh, do some other ones on the general public. Uh, so uh, there we go. All right. Have a great week. Uh, shoot me an email or, or message me if you have any questions. Later.